US launches a barrage of airstrikes on targets in Iraq and Syria in retaliation for the death of three US soldiers in a base in Jordan. Irish nationalist Michelle O'Neill makes history as she becomes Northern Ireland's first minister in a power-sharing government. The US military launched an air assault on dozens of sites in Iraq and Syria overnight on Friday in retaliation for the killing of three US soldiers in Jordan by an Islamist militia group connected to Iran. Just hours after President Biden watched the US soldiers' coffins return home, the strikes hit more than 85 targets at seven locations, including command and control centers and drone and ammunition storage sites, according to the US military. Meanwhile, in Gaza on Friday, at least 17 people were killed in two separate airstrikes overnight in Rafah, on the border with Egypt, according to hospital officials. Hundreds of thousands of Gazans have fled towards the town as the Israeli offensive has moved ever further south in Gaza. And the UN satellite center UNISAT has released a damage assessment of Gaza, showing that nearly every third building in the region has been hit. It says around 22,000 buildings have been destroyed. More than 150,000 people demonstrated in front of the Reichstag in Berlin against the extreme right. All generations were present and many want that the government at least studies the possibility of an AfD ban. Die sollen endlich mal die AfD in die Zange nehmen und wenn es geht auch die AfD verbieten. Mid-January, a report revealed that far-right extremists and AfD members have a plan for the deportation of millions of citizens. Das war doch noch mal so der tipping point, der die Leute auf die Straße gebracht hat. Also das letzte, die, das ist ja nur die Spitze des Eisbergs, aber ich glaube, die hat jetzt schon viel mobilisiert. Ich glaube, darüber haben wir auch gerade gesprochen. Viel wichtiger ist, dass das, was jetzt gerade passiert, eher in was langfristiges mündet. The protests all across Germany seem to be having an effect. A poll on Tuesday showed the AfD dropping below 20% for the first time since July 2023. Erneut eine große Demonstration hier in Berlin gegen die AfD. Die Menschen wollen die Demokratie schützen und fordern von der Regierung ein hartes Durchgreifen gegen extremrechtes Gedankengut. Lena Rosch in Berlin für Euronews. Sinn Fein's Michelle O'Neill has made history becoming the first ever Irish nationalist to lead Northern Ireland. As First Minister, she will, however, share power with British Unionists who want to remain in the UK. O'Neill will share power with Deputy First Minister Emma Little Pengilly from the Democratic Unionist Party. O'Neill will lead Stormont as the Assembly returns from a two year standstill as both sides disagreed over post Brexit trade issues. The development is seen by many as a milestone on the part after reunification with Ireland. Ukrainian media reports President Zelensky has dismissed Valery Salushny, the head of Ukraine's armed forces. Rumors that this might happen had been circulating and referred to disagreements between the two men. Washington has made no comment, saying it is a matter for Ukraine and not the US. Meanwhile, Ukraine has welcomed the decision of the International Court of Justice, which announced on Friday that it does not have jurisdiction to rule on a request by Ukraine for a declaration that Kyiv is not responsible for genocide, as Russia has alleged. The case will now continue. On Friday night, air sirens sounded throughout southeastern Ukraine as groups of Russian drones were reported heading toward Kriviri, Kherson, Dnipro and Odessa. On the other hand, Russian social media report explosions in Voronezh region, most likely caused by a drone attack. An Italian admiral will command a new EU naval mission to protect shipping in the Red Sea. Italy's defense ministry said on Friday the EU has approached Rome with a request to supply the force commander for the operation. On Friday, EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell emphasized the mission should be purely defensive and that there will be no strikes on Houthi targets in Yemen. The operation is due to get the go-ahead at a meeting of EU foreign ministers in two weeks' time. <laughs>